So I found Nick. Uh, Nick, uh, I don't know when the last time I talked to you, three weeks, four weeks ago, I'm not sure, but uh, how have you been since then? Um, about the same. I mean, it's getting hotter, so it's been a little bit different. I've been having to like make some changes, like get some things over me so I'm not too hot, like drinks and stuff. Um, about the same as far as everything else, though. The heat's different, but yeah. Okay. And uh, you also mentioned last time that as soon as it start getting hot, you're gonna try to get out of here, go back home because you can't deal with the heat, right? You just don't like the heat. So it's, again, it's getting hot. So what are your plans for your future? Man, I wanna go to detox. The, the, the one that I already went to, they said I could come back. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna do that. But like, like I already told everybody, it's kind of like, I'm like, I don't, I don't have the, the, the gumption to make that first step. It's kind of like, I'm just like stuck in a, in a spot. People that people that don't understand don't understand addiction. They don't understand that. Like, how? Why don't you just go? Cause it's like, I can't really explain it, but it's just like I'm I'm stuck. Something's just holding me down. You know what I mean? So, but I really want to do it. Cause this isn't this this sucks. And so here you're in a little, uh, little. You made your own little hut of yeah. cardboard and. Yeah, just... I got I got uh, carpets down. I got a blanket. I got pillows. You know what I'm saying? Um, so. Yeah, and you got this little cardboard over here just to uh, give you a little bit of protection, yeah. right? Just from yeah. the sun, basically? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and um, have you talked to your mom, your sister? How are they doing? Yeah, I got my tablet now, so I call. I haven't talked to my sister in, 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 a, in a while, but I called my mom yesterday. Um, my, my tablet dies, and I have to go all the way to Food City to charge it. Okay, so, you got yeah. no, nowhere to charge it out here, that no. mostly, right? No. Okay. And. Uh, you're in a, it looks like an abandoned lot, um, but nobody bugs you here? Um, the cops came over here a couple days ago because people keep, when I first came out here, I came out here to get away from all the, the drama on that side, and they started migrating over here slowly, and I'm like, damn. So, so, um, so when that started happening, issues started, like, they would get more attention over here. That's why the cops came. But you got OG Carlos over there, and it's just me and him that live here, but people keep coming over here, and it's like, drawing attention yeah that's the problem and what did the police say when they got here oh uh, you're not allowed to be here we're gonna have to ask you to leave and then they just leave you know what i'm saying they can't really force us to leave but i mean i guess they will if it gets to that point but i'll just leave if that happens i don't want to do that is it probably like business owners around here are calling the police on you guys it could be these guys back here there's a there's a uh, the construction site back there or the dispensary and then over there and then family dollar but i don't know who's calling them or if they just know about it or what right um and uh, I had uh, somebody reach out to me, uh, one of your family members, Diane. And Diane. Yeah, uh, she reached out to me and she sent me some items for you. Uh, oh, really? Hand, Sweet. I'm gonna hand it to you. So here's that backpack. Sweet. This thing's heavy. Yeah. So there's probably. Uh, Let's see what we got. Oh snap! Always come in handy right here. Never have too many boxers. Got some shirts, light color for the heat. A whole thing of cotton swabs. Wow. A multi-tool. <laughs> she knows I'm surviving in the wilderness. <laughs> um, whatever I use this for, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, some hiking buddy first dim. She thinks I'm, <laughs> I'm surviving. Hey, it comes in handy though. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. First aid's good. Socks. A pair of shorts, some cough drops, um, floss picks. I love those. Zip ties. <laughs> Ooh, some sandals. Yeah, I've been needing these because I only have one pair of shoes and they're all tore up. So this is this is really good right here. This looks like a, a little lunch box or something or a hygiene. I think it's a hygiene bag. Hold on. Like we got some uh, deodorant, triple antibiotic ointment, some purple toothbrushes, a mirror, sweet, and a hairbrush. Yeah, that's good. Looks like there's some more stuff here. Let's see what's in here. What we got? Ooh, no way, bro! A freaking hair clipper, dog. Yo. With all the with all the attachments and everything, so cool. Yeah, she sent me a letter, and I think she mentioned that she's never seen you with long hair. 
Yeah, it's getting really, really long. Yeah, for sure. Some bandanas I can keep around, keep my neck, the sun off my neck. Um, there's more stuff here. Batteries and a flashlight. That, that always comes in handy at night. Um, got some more stuff in this pocket here. Wipes. I knew there was gonna be some wipes. Wipes and some four-hour emergency candles. And Union Power Cooperative antibacterial wipes. I believe that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, all right. Okay, we got some uh, some um, a Bible. Okay, get my religious going. Some tuna salad. Definitely won't be eating that. Werthers, I like Werthers. Toothpaste. Buffalo style chicken salad with crackers. There's this. You know, I saved that for last. The letter. Some more heads. Some more chicken salad. Oral kit. Bug spray. I have one of these already, but it's almost out. This is this the bugs are bad out here. Flies and everything else. Toothpaste. That's it, then we just got the letter. I'll read that real quick. Um if you want me to. Uh no, you can keep it. That's probably okay. private. So yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was thinking the same If you thing. want to read that later, that's fine. Um yeah. let me ask you <clears throat> a lot of people when I give out bags, you know, uh, blessing bags, or people donate clothes or shoes or you know, food, uh, you'll have some naysayers, they'll say, Hey, quit enabling them. You're just enabling their addiction. So I'm gonna give you my perspective and I want you to give me your perspective, okay? So okay. this is what I say, this is my philosophy is, everything we just saw right here are essentials, basics, right? Shoes, uh, sandals, If somebody uh, sent me $100, $100, that would be different, you know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. Toiletries, uh, food, uh, basics that you need to survive, right? As a human being on this earth. And yeah. so um, you're gonna need them regardless. If you were in, in, in addiction or, or just, normal out in life right you're gonna need them regardless so um what what are your thoughts on that so basically like you said i mean essentials that's not enabling anybody that's just enabling my life to continue on you know with things that i need it, like i said if they sent me cash or money of course you're gonna use it for drugs when you get in that spot when you're sick and you need drugs i mean yeah that's just that's basically that's a that's a no-brainer for anybody anybody that, that says this is enabling me you know they're, they're just they need to take another look at that and then uh, I've heard other people say, you know what? Withdrawals can kill me. Withdrawals. Not, not can... opiates. Benzos can, but not, not, not fentanyl. Okay. You feel like you want to die, but you're not going to. Okay. Um, so Nick, I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. Um, I'm glad that I saw you. I've had these items for like over a week. You know, kind of been yeah. looking for you, right? Yeah. Thank you, Aunt Diane. Um, I love you, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be home soon. See you guys. Um, I appreciate this stuff. It's gonna help out a lot. So thank you. Excellent. So we'll stay in contact. So then, you know, if you need to write a treatment center or, or whatever, just let me know. Okay. Yes, sir. So thanks. Stay safe. All right, man. Thank you.